Justin Trudeau is again puffing out his chest, trying to divide Canadians and attack parents who are trying to protect their kids. He will, in the end, back down on this, just like he had to back down on his firearms policy, just like he had to back down on bringing in medical assistance and dying for people suffering from mental illness. Just like he's backing down again and again and again, he will back down on this because he is not interested in protecting kids. He's interested in using this as a divisive wedge to distract from doubling housing costs and quadrupling carbon taxes on our people. In the intricate landscape of parental considerations, individuals like Pierre Poilievre emphasize the paramount importance of safeguarding parental rights in their children's education. The accusation against Justin Trudeau deploying gender ideology as a divisive wedge raises concerns about potential societal division. This highlights the need for unity and shared values. Connecting Trudeau's stanza on gender ideology to housing expenses and a carbon tax becomes a public concern, revealing a recurring theme in policymaking, affecting Canadians' well-being. Trudeau's history of policy reversals on firearms and medical assistance invites scrutiny, drawing criticism for perceived inconsistency. This unfolds against a backdrop where Trudeau advocates for stability and reliability in policy crafting. 